So coming up next, we have Jennifer Wilson and her presentation, Drawing Political Representation. Jennifer? Okay, so this is a story about the Democratic Party primaries and a little bit of math on top. Some of you probably voted for Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders in 2016. Your votes didn't go to them directly. Instead, they received delegates based on how you voted. Hillary Clinton won because she had the most delegates. I'm kind of simplifying. Here's an example of how the process works. Candidates A and B are running in a district with five delegates. Candidate B receives 75% of the vote, which corresponds to three and three quarters delegates. This is called a quota. Now, delegates are people and don't come in fractions. So the quota is rounded up and B gets four delegates. The line shows all of B's possible quotas and how they're rounded. Quotas between three and a half and four and a half are obviously rounded to four. At the bottom, you see the results for both candidates. Notice as you move to the right, B gets more delegates, and as you move to the left, A gets more. Now, what if you have three candidates? Here's what it looks like. Points along the bottom are where C receives no votes and A and B split all the delegates. Points on the left side are where B receives no votes and A and C receive all the delegates. You get the idea. Points in the middle are where all three candidates receive some votes. The points that are labeled all right, the points that are labeled uh, are all the election outcomes where the quotas are whole numbers and no rounding is necessary. But what about the points in between? Rounding is more complicated when there are three candidates and there are different ways to do it. The Democrats use a method named after Alexander Hamilton, who, when he wasn't singing and dancing, was thinking about the same problem in 1790 as he was calculating how many members of Congress should, each state, should get uh, for each state. In this method, if an election outcome falls on a point anywhere in the hexagon, the quotas are rounded to the numbers at the center of the hexagon. Uh, but there is a wrinkle. So party rules say that any candidate uh, receiving less than 15% of the vote gets eliminated. Suppose this happens to candidate C, then the election outcome is projected down to the bottom edge of the triangle where just A and B receive delegates. Now look at the shaded region near the bottom. Maybe you can see a point marked by a star. It's in the 320 hexagon, but if, Z, if C is eliminated, it moves to the 41 region. So what happens is candidate B goes from two delegates down to one. Can you see the star there? Yeah. Right. So what's the end result? It turns out that eliminating a weak candidate has actually hurt a stronger candidate. So maybe this is not such a good election method. So what should the Democrats do? Maybe they should try other rounding methods. There are several possibilities, including this one, named after Thomas Jefferson. Thank you. <laughs>